This is a really great occasion. Um, as you know, the Marrakesh Treaty was one of the fruits of your hard work and one of the great successes, I think, of, uh, of the member states of this organization. Uh, we need 20 ratifications to bring the treaty into force. Uh, we are, as of yesterday, at 12, uh, with the deposit of the accession of um, instrument of accession of Australia, uh, and now with uh, the deposit of the instrument of accession or ratification by Brazil, we go to 13. Uh, and so uh, the prospect of the entry into force of the Marrakesh Treaty in 2016 is a very real one, and one that is certainly one of our principal objectives to encourage as a secretariat. I'm very grateful to Brazil for this action, and I'd like to thank uh, the ambassador and the head of the uh, copyright office uh, for being here personally. Um, one of the uh, important things also with bringing the treaty into force is that we have a good uh, distribution in the, in the composition of the initial contracting parties so that we have not just countries who will benefit the most from the trans-border flow of uh, published works in accessible formats but also countries who have uh, considerable collections of works in accessible formats. And it's in this respect that we particularly welcome the accession of Brazil, uh, a very big country, of course. Uh, and we also welcome the fact that uh, this will be of great benefit to all the Lusophone countries. And Brazil's importance in this respect as a generator of creative works and published works is, uh, we think, makes the deposit of, of the instrument of accession uh, particularly important. So thank you very much, uh, Ambassador, uh, and thank you very much. Please extend our thanks to the government of Brazil for taking this extremely important step. Thank you very much, uh, Director General. Thank you. Francis, thank you, Chair. Uh, it is uh, an honor for me, uh, really, uh, to represent Brazil in this ceremony of deposit of our instrument of ratification of the WIPO Marrakesh VIP Treaty to facilitate the access of, to published works for persons who are blind, visually impaired, or otherwise print disabled. This uh, instrument, as you know, has a special meaning for my country. It was Brazil that together with Paraguay and Ecuador responded to the call made from associations from the blind, for the blind back in 2009 and presented the initial proposal on this matter. A clear evidence of the importance of this treaty for us is the fact that this is just the second time in our history that a treaty is incorporated in our national legislation with the level of a constitutional amendment. This is no uh, trivial achievement. The ratification in such a short time wouldn't have been possible without a strong partnership between our Ministry of Foreign Affairs and our Ministry of Culture, represented here by Mr. Marcos Alves de Souza, head of our Copyright Office. And uh, he was mentioning to me, by the way, and something that I know because I know our Constitution, that uh, as far as uh, challenge uh, the, the process in Congress goes uh, for the approval of a constitutional level of amendment. This involves four votes of three-fifths majority, uh, two in the House and two in the Senate. So it's no small uh, uh, achievement. It is time for the International Society to write a new chapter on the inclusion of people with disabilities a chapter with versions in Braille, large print, DAISY, or other accessible format. Seven ratifications are still needed in order for this treaty to enter into force, and we would like to make a call to all members to join us. We also call in particular those members that host large collections of accessible books, since the access to these works can make the treaty ever more interesting to blind associations in developing countries. We are confident 
we can reach the goal of 20 ratifications before the next General Assembly so that the Marrakesh Union can meet for the first time still in 2016. Dear Director General and esteemed delegates, we believe that, above all, this treaty means that the multilateral IP system can be a tool for social development as long as we can strengthen our international ties and work together towards this goal. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you very much, Ambassador. Um, distinguished delegates, I think that concludes this morning's proceedings. Uh, I emphasize once again just what an important step this is for all of the reasons that were also evoked by the Ambassador. So we're absolutely delighted, 13, and I join the Ambassador in encouraging you all to speed up the process of ratification in your respective countries. Uh, so that we can attain the goal of the entry into force of the Marrakesh Treaty before uh, we all meet, the Member States meet as assemblies in uh, 2016. I thank you very much.